All right, welcome back, YouTubers. We are on the last week of suffixes. Suffixes come at the end of the word, not at the beginning, much like prefixes. And uh, this is a little tidbit of information brought to you by Santa Claus. I thought it would be fun to put him on there since we are getting close to Christmas break here. Uh, he's giving a thumbs up. He's thinking uh, it's time to go with the lesson. And I'm saying the same thing as well. Let's go ahead and get started here. Hey, the first word that we have, ant or int, means a performing agent. Here's my example. Uh, an attendant, one who assists. They're performing a job for somebody. Uh, this right here is actually a gas station attendant. They used to be around back in the 50s or 60s. If you go to small towns, you might even see someone to come out and pump your gas and uh, wipe off your windshield there. But uh, they perform a job for you. They assist you. And that's how it fits into the, the, the suffix there. Let's go ahead and move on to the second one, ESS. Uh, words ending in ESS mean feminine, uh, otherwise pertaining to females. For example, actress would be a female performer. There's one of my favorite actresses right there, Reese Witherspoon. Um, other ESS words would be like princess, it'd be like a female prince. Uh, waitress, you know, female waiter. And Reese, as much as I adore you, my wife is the only one for me. So we're going to go ahead and get you off the screen there. Thank you so much. Let's move on to number three here. The third one is ism, which means system or condition. Uh, the word that I have for ism is communism, uh, which is a system of government, which a single party holds power and the state controls the economy. Uh, one of the most famous communist dictators was Joseph Stalin, and that's his picture right there at the bottom there. Uh, but yeah, system of government that, uh, that, that works for them. Uh, not necessarily my choice of government, but uh, hey, let's not talk politics here. Let's go ahead and move on to the next word after we get Mr. Stalin off the screen, because you're scaring me, sir. There you go. Moving on, the next one, ist, one who or that which. One who or that which. For example, novelist. Somebody who writes novels. One who writes novels. There's a novelist right there, Louisa May Alcott. You may wrote, know her book, Little Women, that she wrote way, way back long ago. Uh, other IST words, dentist. One who works on teeth. Uh, how about if you take a keyboarding class, you might become an expert typist. One who types well. Let's go ahead and get you off the screen. Boom! Thank you, Miss Alcott. And finally, let's do some review. You guys had some prefixes last week. I am not going to put them on the screen yet because you're going to hit the pause button in the corner. And uh, go ahead and fill in the chart. And when you are ready, you can go ahead and uh, unpause it and find out the answers. Pause button is typically right down here in the corner of your screen. Go ahead and pause that bad boy. All right, I'm assuming you are ready to go. We are going to go ahead and give you the answers for the prefixes. Hey, the first one, A, means not or without. B, B-E, means on or away. Mid means middle. That's a fairly easy one there. Post means after. And semi means half. Much the same as hemi. Semi and hemi mean the same thing semi. Uh, hey, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, we got one more. I forgot. <laughs> we got super. Super means above. Don't forget about that. Superman flies above the town. Above man, people call him. Anyways, now we're officially done. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video on YouTube. Have a wonderful day. See you next time.